Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emma, and this is my roommate, Kat. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> you guys met her, I think, over the summer, and we haven't really done like a sit-down video since, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so on the, the other day, I put on my story a little question thing asking you guys to ask questions for Kat to answer. I will be asking her the questions, and she is going to be answering them for you guys and spilling the tea, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, we, I haven't even looked at the questions yet, so we'll see I what you guys I know Emma asked. better than anyone, I know. so I'm spilling all you the You literally tea. live with me, like you see me every single day, you breathe the same air as me, like, so we share a wall. <laughs> we do! <laughs> we share a wall and the same ceiling, and the same, and the same floor, <laughs> same floor, everything. All right, let's get right into it. I'm just having the worst hair day today, I can't with it, okay. How did you guys become roomies? Um, well, we met through a mutual friend. I went to BU and our friend Gretchen introduced us. And then it was like at my boyfriend's birthday last year yeah. in February. And I like had a room rooming situation kind of fall through. And I was kind of like, what am I going to do? Like, where am I going to live? I go to BU and I like don't really have anywhere to live next year. And things like, I don't know, they just like happened to work out that I was like venting to Emma and Gretchen about it. And Emma's like, I want a roommate. Yeah, I literally had a two bedroom and I was Gosh. like, wait, like I love this girl. I'd only known you for like what, a month? three months, not even, like two months. <laughs> we met December last year and I was like, yeah, like I didn't go to college. Like I want a roommate. That'd be so fun. Like, and then I just kind of threw it out there and was like, oh my God, like live with me. And then... Yeah, we were just like, oh my god, yeah, like we're roommates. We would just like say it. We'd be like, ha ha ha, roommates. And then like, once COVID really hit, your rooming situation like really got messed up. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my god, literally move in with me. Like I have a second bedroom. No one's living in it. I don't even use it. So do it. And then she did. Yeah. No and it was like my temporary bedroom when I would come over for sleepovers. Oh my god, you sleepovers. <laughs> she would sleep in there. Like, it just worked out perfectly. Do you guys borrow each other's clothes? Yes, but not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. I mean, I feel like there's been a few times where you'll just like wear my stuff and then you're like, oh, by the way, like I'm wearing your shirt. And yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Just like put it in the laundry. I like Snapchat her. I'm out. I'm <laughs> I know. Like, she's like, I go, can your I shirt? borrow okay. your shirt? I was in LA. She was like, Emma, I'm borrowing your shirt. I was like, cool. Just put it in the hamper after. I don't care. Yeah. She just has the best clothes. It's like hard not to. And I feel like everybody likes their friends' clothes better than theirs. Yeah. So I just like love hers. I wish we were the same shoe size because that yeah. would be like, I would take all your shoes, yeah. but we're not the same we're shoe size. Little minor inconvenience, the lighting right now. The lighting in the apartment at this time is just like, it can be good, but it can also be weird, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you guys decide on the decor slash aesthetic? Technically, since the apartment, like I had just lived here alone and didn't even have a roommate or like knew that I was officially going to have one. So I just kind of like bought all the type of decor that I really wanted for it. And then obviously like Kat just like liked it. So yeah, it just, oh, I yeah, it just it. stayed and I had everything already yeah. when you moved in. Every, we all the, the apartment, to everything in the apartment's credits to Emma. Literally everything. Um, she's the interior designer, decorator, everything. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know how you couldn't like it. Like, it's literally It's just so, so simple. Cute. I'm very simple, but we did the like, Christmas decor together. We did Christmas decor together. So that's why I contributed. The stockings <laughs> I picked out. The stockings you didn't pick out. <laughs> how do you split expenses? So we split the apartment rent. I mean, I feel like I'm answering these questions too. So that's it'll be both of us. But so we split the apartment rent depending on like, I have obviously like a bigger room and bigger bathroom and stuff. So I'll pay like more, Kat pays a little bit. And then it's like, we do half and half for all the bills, which is like normal, I feel for all types of roommates. So yeah, it's pretty easy. And then just like, we'll Venmo each other for things like that. How long have you guys known each other? Honestly, not even a year. Not even a year, but like- We're coming up we're on coming like our, up our one year. <laughs> And we like didn't. We, I was every single game Gretchen and I go, would go to, we'd be like, I really want to see Kat. And like, we'd sit, well, she would. I would, didn't even have your Snapchat or follow you on Instagram. She would send you videos and be like, Kat, you yeah. look so pretty. And we were sitting there, we're like, yay. You'd be like sideline reporting and you had your makeup all done up and you'd come up and you'd be like, hey guys, like <laughs> during the third period. And she'd leave work and come sit with us and just, it was so I'd fun. literally come and say hi. 
And the first time I met Emma, she was going to like a uh, island the next day, oh which is God, so on brand for you. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I have to like go home and pack for this like island trip. And I'm like, sounds great. Sounds amazing. <laughs> like what is your sign? Pisces. That's another reason why we fit really well together. We're both water signs. So I feel like that just like makes us flow. Plus Pisces are just so like high energy and happy all the time. So it's just great to have a Pisces around. <laughs> I didn't know anything about astrology before. Emma. And you didn't drink coffee before. No, that's not even, I don't know if that's a question, but I'm answering it before Emma. I strived to not drink coffee. Like I was like, I'm never going to get addicted to coffee. I don't want to become dependent on it. And now I drink coffee every day and she doesn't even drink <laughs> coffee every day. I know. That's like the biggest rub off she's had on me is like now I'm an avid coffee drinker. And yeah, and I'm definitely um, like a neater person since Emma. She's so neat and organized and it's like good for me because now I'm like more organized in life, not just like physical room, but it's like laying out like my schedule, getting things done. It's like a really good Going habit. Going to bed that, early, like Oh yeah, up early. oh my God, I used to go to bed at like 2 a.m. and now we like go to bed early and then for a while we were getting up early and working out together. So yeah. it was like a really good habit. Yeah. So that's, yeah, probably the I'm a very change. like routine person mm -hmm. and not a lot of people are like that. And I feel like picking up on those habits is a good thing. Yeah. Because then you can just like carry them on. Oh yeah. So nice. A lot of people ask what we do about groceries and food and if we cook together. I feel like I'm a very independent person. So it's like, I like shop for food on my own and cook on my own just because like, and I like weird stuff. Like I like to make weird food. So I don't know. We're just very that's like- good. In like the food sense, I feel like we make different things. Plus, Kat has a lot of allergies too, so I don't want to like... That's like one of the best things about Emma. She's so cautious. Like, she's such a caring person. She's so cautious about my allergies. Like, I've never met someone like her. That's like, if we go out to eat and I forget to say I have an allergy, Emma's like, she has an allergy. <laughs> and she's like so good about like, she's so careful with cooking and stuff. Like, I've had bad reactions with cross-contamination. She's so careful with it when she cooks, mm -hmm. which is like another reason I like wanted to live with her instead of like five other girls is because like a lot of people don't get how like serious it can be and how easy it can be to cross contaminate and she's yeah. so careful plus i'm a really really freaking clean person mm -hmm. so it's like after when i clean my dishes before i even put my dishes into the dishwasher i clean them with soap and They're water spotless. and then i put them into the dishwasher it's like mm -hmm. everything i like double triple clean not even because i mean yes because of your allergy but just because of how i was so it's just mm -hmm. perfect mm -hmm. so and i feel like our thing is like going out to dinner together because that's like all you can really do right yeah. now so like when we're home and we cook separate, but then we go out to we dinner go together, together and it's together. like fun. Yeah, it's fun. We like to get Mexican because we do chips and salsa. <laughs> or getting curly fries at one in the morning. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Craziest boy story. I don't have one, but I just have a funny story. Okay, craziest boy story. Not crazy, but just a boy story. It's like one of my favorite memories with her. And oh, she was me. going on she was going on a date and I like helped her get all ready and like I didn't even have plans that night. So like she was doing her makeup and I was just like sitting there next to her. I'm like, do that makeup. And then she was in the shower and I was legit just right there and I was like, this is gonna be so I know fun. you like came in. Yeah, I was just in the bathroom Drinking the whole time. Wine. She was getting ready, picked out her outfits. I then I dropped her off at the date, but we like <laughs> She didn't want to get there before the boy and we didn't know if he was there or not because he didn't text me Yeah, right he away. didn't tell her if he was like there or not. So we just drove around I was just driving around in circles like blasting music. We were both like sweating because I we was nervous. literally sweating <laughs> We were blasting AC sweat. driving around in circles and then we were like, oh, he's there So I like dropped her off and then oh I was like were we like in mom. your sister's car too? Like, yeah, it wasn't even my yeah. car. Like I had her car for some reason. That was, that's a funny story. That was so funny. I forgot about that. Yeah. Says I'm actually do the thing she says she does in her vlogs. <laughs> I'm the most real person. I mean, am I? Um, I don't really know what that's like referring to. You are the most real yeah. person though. Like, it's. I don't know what they're referring to. Like, do am I different on? Things. Am I different? Like. It, as a you do I have like a YouTube personality and a real personality? No. no, but I will say 
you're funnier in person. I am funnier And everyone in says that. I feel like people say that about Kylie Jenner and some people don't get it and I'm like, I get it because that's you. Like, and it's hard. It's like, how do you be, Kylie. just sit in front of, you are Kylie. How do you just sit in front of a camera and talk and like be like, you are still funny, but like, you're like funnier in person. Oh, I can know, I can tell that too. I'm way funnier in person. <laughs> oh, yeah, way funnier. Um, yeah, you do not have a YouTube personality in it. Uh, person personality like you're so real if like you are like having off days you're real about it and you talk about it like you don't act like everything's perfect like yeah. so many public figures do and that's like so important because it's not everything isn't perfect online like, no what you see online isn't real life mm -mm. well it is real life but to an extent it's just yeah. it's very glamorous. it's a lot of what people want you to see yeah and it's like really good that you're honest about it and you'll be like I'm not like, my mental health hasn't been great lately. And it's like, you like help people know that that's okay. Yeah. To not feel great. Does having a roommate keep you more motivated than if it didn't, if you didn't have one? Yeah. I'd say yes too for me. Cause I like, oh my God, I hate doing my laundry. Hate it. Hate <laughs> doing my laundry. But having you a roommate, all the like, time. I do it all the time. But having a roommate like makes me get it done and then like put it away because it's like, so the washing machine's open, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I like okay. get it done quickly instead okay. of leaving it in there and then forgetting about it for a week and then going back and be like, oh, I have so much laundry in here that I literally didn't do. So it's great. I, I like cleaning up too and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. For like that stuff. And then for me, I love living with Emma like for the reason that she motivates me like as a person. Like I am finished with college today and there's that quote that I've like really realized since I've become friends with Emma that's like, you are the most like the five people you spend the most time with. And it's like being friends with Emma and Maggie and like our friend group is such a motivated friend group with like careers. And that's how I've always been. So me finishing college, like she knows better than anyone. I've been so nervous about like what I'm gonna do in life and stuff. And she's like helped me so much like try to figure out what I'm gonna do and like be so supportive of it. And it's like, I, it's just like really motivated me in a way that like, I'm like ready to like start a career doing something I love too, because like, it, I think it's so cool that she didn't even go to college. She just was like, I know I love doing YouTube. I'm going to do YouTube and I'm going to like dive all into it. Whereas I was like, I'm going to take like the safe route. But in like reality, I spent probably three years like doing things that like I didn't love to do. So it's like now, like she always says, like you got the things done that like you had to do. Now you get to do what you want to do. And I'm like literally so motivated to like find what that is and like run into it because of like her and how her lifestyle is. And like once you see somebody who like does a career in what they love, it makes you just want to do that. Oh, I really so happy. <laughs> but that's like you. literally the most honest opinion ever is like, it's so, you don't realize it. Like I've had... I've been in old friend groups that like people weren't motivated people all they wanted to do out was like go out and party and it's like it affects you so much it you really don't even does. realize it, it does. and it's like being around you and Maggie and like my boyfriend it's like all all of you guys are so motivated and driven to like make your careers as successful can be you're all very healthy people like focus on like your mental health so much and I've never like cared about like myself and my life the way I do now that I'm like friends with all of them so they literally have motivated me in the best way possible. The only bad motivation is I drink more coffee and I eat more <laughs> chips and salsa but like, than I ever But does it really have. matter? No, no because it adds like, a little spice into your life. It's quality, <laughs> it's quality. The first night we were together, she was in a situation like talking to somebody that like, she was kind of like, help me. Who? This man, it's like this random man. And she like, she gave me the friend like eyes and I was like, Oh my god, like, Emma, come here, I have to tell you something. I had nothing to tell her. We literally met an hour ago. Mm -hmm. But she was like, thank you. <laughs> and I was like, we're friends. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yep. that night. We were we were out, and I was felt very uncomfy. And then I looked at Kat, and we literally were like, that was like our first night being out together. Mm -hmm. And you looked at me, and you were like, I'm coming to save you, and yeah. she literally swooped right Which in. Which actually, let's answer what's it like living more. with a YouTuber? Oh yeah, what's it like this living with so a YouTuber? Fun. This is my favorite one. So like, I would always be in class, and we we do share. Well, so I would be in class, 
but I could hear Emma YouTubing. Like at first, when I first moved Emma in, YouTubing. at first when she first moved, I first moved in, she'd be like, "Just so you know, like you're gonna think I talk to myself a lot, but like I'm filming." So now, like I know. So like if I'm in class and I just hear her talking, I literally like, turn down the volume <laughs> and I'm like listening to her do like a haul or like a talk, and I'm like, "That's so true." <laughs> like on the other side of the wall. Um, you literally. But oh. yeah. During Vlogmas, it's just like she, I just know she has something to do every day because yeah. she's just like getting content out for you guys every single day. Um, nothing, uh, everything other than that is like good. You guys should know, like, she's like the most respectful person ever that like she shares her whole entire life with you guys, but she knows that like other people in her life might not want to be so public like she never just pushes the camera into other people's faces for content like yeah. she is so respectful of other people's boundaries and stuff which is like one of my favorite things about her is like other people might like do stuff for like content and stuff but she's like i'm gonna do like my lifestyle and if like people want to be involved that's great but she said she's <laughs> never like she's just so respectful of other people's boundaries so you. as like a youtuber that's like impressive because i know other content creators just like get in other people's biz yeah and i feel like i like to respect my friends a lot because i don't want they're they don't do youtube so it's not maybe they don't want to be on camera all the time you know mm -hmm. it's like i chose to do this and i signed up for it so i'm always on camera and i don't mind it i love being on camera it's great but i don't want to like make some of my friends be on it when they don't want to you know mm -hmm. but other than that like other than her filming like for a couple hours a day she's like the mo it's not like she's not normal when she's filming but like being a youtuber like she's a she's a person yeah she's a person it might be hard to see if you've never met her and you just see someone as like the online personality that they are but she's a person she has feelings so remember that when oh. <laughs> if you're ever thinking about being mean you remember she's a sensitive little Cat cancer. is gonna come from you come she's for a you. sensitive <laughs> little cancer and she has feelings and she's a person before she's a youtuber i love you my love little you. mush uh, do y'all kick each other out for eyeball emoji appointments? <laughs> Wait, I'm dead. Yeah, I got kicked out once. Well, technically, okay. Uh, okay, okay. First of all, once. Second of all, you didn't really get kicked out. <laughs> you guys just left. I kind of wanted to. Kind of wanted to. <laughs> Your own choice. Do what you want. <laughs> But I mean, that's like, funny. Me and my roommates do. Well, we're also not roommates. We're apartment mates. Like yeah. we have different bedrooms. So it's, yeah, yeah, a roommate it is, is different because it's like if you're in a college dorm and you're, it, I you guys it. just it's have like two, two twin beds, and then it's like someone's like trying to have fun, but then the other person's coming home. You're like, no, don't come in. But it we have funny. two separate rooms, but we do have thin ass walls. <laughs> Is it awkward when Kat's boyfriend's around? No, because he's like, honestly, we started out, when we started out being friends, you and I would hang out last winter, and then we would hang out alone, like, here and there, up until, like, June, and then Jake started to come around, but it wasn't even like I was third wheeling, you guys, it's like, we're all best friends, so when he's here, it's like, my other best friend is here, and we all just kind of, like, chill, and it's like, you know, we can just yeah. like hang out and it's like not, it's, so fun. it's not like annoying because I love that. Yeah. It's so important. It's always been so important to me that like boyfriends get along with your friends mm -hmm. well. And I literally feel like Emma and Jake could like hang out on their own without <laughs> me. And I'd, I'd be like, I love this. <laughs> yeah, I, you're like, I'm so for this. I literally love, it makes me so happy. And I yeah. love that. Like his friends are your friends. Yeah. Now. I, it's, I was just going to say the same. Thing ever. Like we all share friends. So we're all just one big friend group. You and know. they're all like your brothers now. Yeah, and, and Jake they're so also... overprotective of Emma. It's so cute. Like all of our guy friends, like Jake and Matt and Cam. Like, oh my god. They would like fight a boy. Matt literally would kill somebody. Yeah, kill someone. any boys. Anyone. He'll kill you. He literally. No, the other night I was like so sad over this one guy, and I was talking to Matt about it, and he was like, "I literally will kill him." I was like, "Okay, go." Like, I'll give you his address, him. but um, yeah. So it's not at all weird. They're, it's like my siblings. Like I don't know, my brother, my sister, my best friends. That makes like we're so a little fun. family. What is one of your craziest memories together? Definitely our trip to LA was our yeah. favorite. Our first trip together. Well, technically our first trip for my birthday. We went to we went to the Cape, but we didn't stay at my house. We stayed yeah. at Wasset. 
but first trip trip mm -hmm. was LA first of many hopefully if the world opens up better but yeah that was a crazy fun trip that, that trip was, was really so fun. fun and it was funny because they went for like work and yeah. I just went because I'm like their friend <laughs> yeah. she came and along, I'm just she like tagged. I have no reason not to but yeah it was so fun we just like we really lived life and drove around in the Moz. <laughs> I like can't think of any crazy memories, but I just love like us spending time together We do like some of the most like be present stuff ever like yeah. especially when we would go to the Cape in the summer And we would just like drive like we were just like those drive around listen to music go watch sunsets on the mm -hmm. beach And like that's what I love is like when we just have like days that we're so present and not like social media this and that yeah. Those are like my favorite memories together. Yeah, but I it was my first time at, in LA. And so like being with her, who's like the queen of LA, the East Coast the queen, queen, of, the queen of LA, the East Shit. Coast queen of LA, <laughs> she, knew, she knew all the spots to go. So she That's was the so best funny. tour guide. But hopefully um, we want to go to like Europe together. Oh, that would be so sick. Like that's like bucket list of when it's safe and allowed to do that. We really want to, we want to go on like a two week excursion together, which so like fun. would be like, Crazy. crazy cuz it's just been it's been hard because the world we became been friends shut down. like in covid yeah. and like even for her birthday we weren't even that close she we literally like weren't even friends like like like, we, like you didn't like post for my birthday no. because we were like distant acquaintances yes like i went to her birthday and i literally think i said happy birthday to you and then that's the last i talked to you the whole night i said happy birthday i yeah. swear and then on brand again she's like oh i'm going to where did you go to Tennessee? The I next went to day? LA the next day. On to LA! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Love that! <laughs> uh, anyway, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video with Kat and got to know us a little bit better. I um, love you all so, 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 so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Be nice Mwah. to Emma. Bye, Bye Emma at all costs. <laughs> I love you so much. Bye, Bye everyone.